Welcome back. You've seen in my previous video how I use this cheap heater to keep resin in the ideal temperature during the winter and today I'll show you a bit of an update on how I'm using it with my Hallet Mage. On these printers a good location would be here in the corner but as you can see the power plug sits in the bottom so to fix that I've printed a little adapter which I'm gonna leave the link for the STL in the descriptions if you're, if you're interested. So my model is the regular version of the mage. So I have this little opening here, which is gonna be very useful for me to route the wire outside of the enclosure. But if you have a pro version, I think there is a resin pump in there. Uh, so you need to route the wire through the corner, something like this. That should be enough for you to seal and also pass the wire through the enclosure. or even through the top. See at the top, there is quite a lot of space to route the wire up there. Installation is pretty simple. I have inserted one of the end through the adapter. Then you need to insert that through the cover. Obviously, if you're gonna route around the corner, you don't need to route that. Then you plug the heater like this. I'm using a 90 degree uh, plug here, but you can use any. And then you snap that in to place in the adapter. And that's pretty much job done. You just need to pull the, the wire at the back. So for the moment, it's only sitting in the corner. And unfortunately, the bolts underneath will make it a little bit wobbly. Uh, you can add some double-sided tape or anything to the walls to help it stabilize. Uh, but the wire in the back should be enough to hold it in place. I'll design another version uh, for the Pro uh, since the spot is already taken by the resin pump. I'll place this little thermometer here and turn it on. As you can see, it's currently 10 degrees Celsius and 65% humidity. And 10 minutes later, this is the current situation, 39 degrees and 16% humidity. It might look a bit hot, but it depends on how cold your room is. Uh, and also when you operate the carbon filter, the venting will pull some air in, uh, which will drop the temperature considerably. So to improve the temperature control, I bought this thermostat power plug. It's very simple. You just need to leave the probe uh, on the area that you want to control the temperature and it will power the heater on and off to maintain within the range that you had set up. Uh, make sure the probe, as you can see here, is at the bottom of the enclosure as this is the area that the resin will sit and the hot air will stagnate in the higher area and will not give you the best results. The setup is that easy. You just press the set button once and the temperature will start flashing. Then you use up and down buttons to adjust the lower temperature. <laughs> I'll set this up to 24 degrees. Now you press set again and the higher temperature will start flashing and you repeat the same method up and down to adjust the temperature and I'll set this up to 27. Once it's done, you just leave it flashing and a few seconds later it will stop and that means your thermostat is ready to control within that range. I've just moved the probe directly into the hot flow to test and to show you how it works. So the temperature is rising, as you can see, and once it reaches 27 degrees, the LED will come off, and that means the power to the heater has stopped and you don't have uh, that working anymore. I've now removed the probe uh, into the, the ambient again, where it's cold and the temperature is dropping, as you can see, and as soon as it reaches 24 degrees, it powers it up again and the heater resumes its function. So basically it will be within 24 and 27 degrees all the time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.